Listen, congratulations on the film. I loved it. I just saw it last night. I think that we need more films like this because there's so much bigotry in the world. And I think that through films in some way you can change uh, maybe not the ideology, but you can get people to accept more things. Do you agree with that? And do you think yeah. it's a good tool? Absolutely. I think that after four years of Donald Trump and we're suffering the results of Brexit here in Britain, that uh, any movie that entertainingly promotes uh, diversity, inclusivity, and more than anything, tolerance. Oh, hallelujah to that, because nobody should tell us who we can love, what we can believe in, what we can wear, where we should go, what we can say, you know, so I'm, I'm all for all those things. Me too. It's a great movie. I, I think that it uh, should be shown in every high school in, the, in this country, in America especially, because there's in the South, they're so racist and they're, they're going crazy. It's dangerous, dangerously crazy. I think it's a film that is not only beautiful, but it's necessary too. And, I agree. Uh, yeah. and, it's, and it tells its message without it banging it over your head. It's, you know, it's, it's a good time. It's very easy to, to accept everything the person is living because it's, it's a simple story. It's very natural. It's very human. Yeah. And yeah. So why did you decide to be part of this project besides the um, obvious? That because I'd never, I'd never been, uh, I never played drag before. I'd never done a movie musical singing and dancing. So, but I did say to Jonathan Butterall, the director, coming off the conversation of the movie that I did with Melissa McCarthy, Can You Ever Forgive Me, in which both of us played gay characters, there was a, you know, a real concern for me of why isn't this being played by a real drag artist or you know, a well-known gay actor? And um, Jonathan said, all the creative team of this movie and the stage production are gay and it's not an issue for them. They said they wanted me to play this part and they thought that I had the right qualities to play Hugo. So I said, right, okay, well, I hope that you don't get into trouble for making that decision. So I travel in hope. No, I think it's fine. Why not? I mean, uh, if you're invited to do... No. I don't think there's need to be so so radical, so, you know, radical, you know, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so but dear, you was, can be sure there, there will be somebody somewhere who'll be going, well, I should have played that part. So, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, and uh, was it a, an interesting experience for you? It was because I had never, uh, Max Harwood was still in drama college. He'd never done a movie before, TV, anything. Hadn't even done a commercial. So just the professionalism and the preparation that he had. He knew everything. He was vulnerable. He was open. Um, I learned from him. I thought he was extraordinarily talented, and I I hope he has a has a big success with this role in this movie because I think he's an me, extraordinarily young guy. Me too. He's great. Do you think uh, the streaming platforms are changing the way we enjoy uh, culture? Culture meaning films and TV shows. I think so. I think that you know because of. COVID, obviously they wanted this movie, to, it was supposed to come out in the cinema, but because of COVID, um, it got to the point it was made two years ago, it was supposed to come out last year, then it was supposed to come out this year, and they kept having to delay it because of COVID, 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 and I think they finally just bit the bullet and said, we'll stream it worldwide, 17th of September, and I know that it's had many screenings um, in cinemas, and I think that hopefully, you know, at some point it will be, it will be shown in, in movie houses as well so that you can have that communal experience that you don't get, you know, when, when you're just sitting at home or watching it on your smartphone or on your TV. So that, that's, a, that's the thing that, especially if it's something's funny and celebratory, I think that there's nothing quite like that feeling that you have when you're in an audience of people.